You ready to walk to Dogtown? You betcha. <laughs> How y'all doing today? Guess what? I got my new switch for the Noma lawnmower. It says on the side it's a style 37. However, there's a height difference. So I'm hoping that that doesn't give me clearance issues when I go to put it back together. And as you see, the key just fell out of the old one. Which it does, it just falls right out of there. The new one, when it's in the on position, doesn't come out. It comes out a little bit, but it doesn't come out all the way. If it's off, it'll come off, come out. Anyway, it's a nice big key, I like that. And it works. So when I turn it over to start, it actually starts and it'll spring back. So good. So I'm gonna get back to work on this and see if we can't wrap that up. And uh, I was thinking about it since the last time I worked on it. And I recall noticing that I wasn't getting any power up to the leg that feeds power to the switch itself. And I'm going, that's gotta be one of them safety switches being an issue in there. And I remember also saying that I was just going to rewire things. Well, since then I've rethought it. And I think I'm just gonna go in and bypass all the switches. That way if we ever wanna put it back, which I know we never will. But this way, I should be able to get it working without having to chop and cut and goober up the harness. I should be able to use loop wires to connect the ends on the switches. And that way I don't cut anything up and hack it up. As far as I know, there's no shorts in the wiring system. It's just a switch, it's probably bad. Anyway, I'm gonna look into it. I'll get back and let you know which way I actually go when I get that far. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get that put back together and working today. So stay tuned and I'll let you know how it goes. I was doing some testing and I was getting power up to the harness where the battery leg on the key switch is. So that's good. I didn't have to do anything with that. And I plugged the kill wire onto the motor where it plugs into the motor to kill the magneto. And then I did a continuity test between the ground and the magneto at the harness, and that was good continuity. So I don't have to do anything with that. And then I tested from the leg of the harness that goes to the solenoid for when you engage it to that springy position in the key switch, and I wasn't getting there. So that's why I tracked it down to the safety switches, and there's yellow wires. And all I gotta do is, I made up two of these little jumpers and they will plug in to the harness where they would plug into the switches. So yeah, I've got them disconnected from the safety switches. And these will let that circuit bypass. I'll plug them in, tape it up. And when I turn it to start, it'll energize the solenoid, which will turn the motor over. And I guess there's only one more thing I forgot to check was to make sure that ground leg on the harness is actually <clears throat> going to ground. And if that works out, then I can just plug these in, tape them up, and start putting everything back together. So, yay. I just want to show this to you before I get too far off in it. If you look right here, you can see the ends of my terminals where I put that pigtail in there. Just to loop it around. And those are both the yellow wires. Just remember, yellow means safety. So you jump them together and you'll bypass that. This one went to the brake pedal clutch brake and this one went to the uh, deck engage belt or mechanism safety switches but I knew if I didn't show you that now I wouldn't be able to because I would have the gas tank in the way and he taped them up and then put the gas tank in and then button everything up there you go well, it all went back together way easier than it came apart. The only thing I have left to do now is put the steering wheel on. And there was a foam ring that went around the steering wheel shaft below the steering wheel. And I've misplaced that somewhere. And I can't seem to find it, so I guess I'm probably just going to go ahead and put the steering wheel back on it. 
and then if I find it, I'll put it back on at a later date. I don't know if it'll turn up or not. I thought I knew where it was, but apparently I was wrong. So anyway, yeah. That's just a matter of sliding this down on there. And lining up the holes and driving a pin through it. Which sounds easy. Everything goes according to plan. We'll be calling Bob my uncle. This rascal will start right up. works and seems to work well. You want to hear something funny? I looked up Noma <laughs> just in the online dictionary. Just, just thought maybe it had some other meaning to it. And it turns out it's, oh, it's a god-awful, hideous freaking description. It was a, uh, See if I can recall what the wordage was. Basically, it was a gross growth on one's lips. <laughs> I would have to look it up again and get the exact words they used, but oh, it was awful sounding. It sounded like somebody had a athlete's lip. <laughs> yeah, that's not very cool. I don't know what they were thinking when they named that one. So, all right, guys, that's a wrap. That's a wrap.
Uh, I gotta put these tools away and stuff, and I need to cut my grass. Uh, good little tractor, easy little fix. Once I got past getting that gas tank out of my way, that kind of gave me a headache for a minute, and I appreciate all you guys telling me what you thought. Uh, yeah, I think now I'm gonna, uh, before I actually do any modifications to that, I think I'm going to take some of these old barbecues that I got wheels on around here and make myself a little lawn cart so I can pull around here and I gotta cut all these limbs and stuff down. And that'll give me a nice way to haul them. I got some bed frames over here, I got some wheels sitting there, I got a welder in there. Why not, right? I got some old fencing over there I can use for a deck in it. Yeah. Cause everything's growing up now that the cold weather's gone. Anyway, I'm babbling and I'll see y'all later. Thanks for coming by. Cheers. Appreciate you. Take care. And uh, we'll see you later. Alright, bye-bye. Walk in the dark. Just walk in the dark.